In the previous three lessons, we covered a number of different ways to create your standard views. Now those standard views in the drafting and design field are referred to as your principal views. That would be your front view, top, bottom, left, right, and rear, the six principal views. We also looked at how to create isometric views. And in the previous three lessons, we did that with the model view, standard three view, projected view, and the view palette. So many different ways to create the standard views. Now what we have in the screen are the front view and the right hand side view for the angle bracket. And if you would like to work along with me, you can go into your working files folder and open the angle bracket drawing. What we're gonna take a look at in this lesson is an auxiliary view. In fact, if we create a projected view from the front view, you will see we have an inclined surface. This inclined surface will not appear true size or true shape in any one of the six principal views, the front, top, bottom, left, right, or the rear view. However, we do need to show that surface, that inclined feature, true size, true shape, so we can dimension it. And that requires what we call an auxiliary view. And that's what we're gonna cover in this lesson. So I am going to select the auxiliary view icon and the property manager opens. Notice I have a message telling me to select a reference edge. So I wanna create an auxiliary view normal to this inclined surface. So the edge I am going to select is this edge here. As soon as I select it, notice an auxiliary view appears. And now we see this inclined surface, true size and true shape. Notice we also receive a viewing plane. It's on top of the front view, so obviously I need to move it. I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button on top of it and notice how I can reposition it. I can also hold down the left mouse button on top of each arrow and pull them in a little bit. Now some companies do not require the viewing planes when showing auxiliary views. So if you wanna turn the viewing plane off, you simply uncheck the arrow box and it disappears. If you want to remove the view A-A -A text, you can click on it and then select the delete key on your keyboard. Now, if this is not the proper standard for you, this is per the ANSI standard. If you would like the viewing plane to be per the ISO standard or some other standard, there's a real easy way to change that. Let me first close out of this drawing view. To change a standard, you wanna go up to options and the options dialog box appears. You'll switch over to document properties and under drafting standards, notice the overall drafting standard is currently set to ANSI and you can select a different standard. So this will wrap up our lesson on how to create an auxiliary view.